Hi guys, Damien Bujan here welcoming all culture lovers once again to my channel Red Drum Drumming. From Trinidad and Tobago and the wider Caribbean to the world as we try to showcase our culture so that you all can get an appreciation for it and enjoy this as much as we do. In our last video we did a tutorial on the Calypso rhythm where we covered the break and the base of it. This week we will be doing the Fuller fuzzerism and the solos. In folk drumming, there are three accompaniments, which is the bass, bass, the fuller, and the solo. So at the end of this video today, between this one and the next, one will be fully oriented on the rhythm calypso. I must say something, and it is of vast importance. Cutting cannot be taught. Soloing cannot, it should not be taught. If it is taught, then everyone that begins to solo would be playing more or less the same thing and it would get monotonous. What cutting is, is something from inside the individual who is cutting at the moment and how he reacts to what's going on around him with the drums and the dance and the singing and whatever. It's something that sometimes we cannot even explain. Um, words, words could come to mind, maybe like something in your chi, your essence, something primordial, something in your DNA. And because it's individual, this is what, this is what makes every, every cut unique. So if you hear three or four people cutting in one piece of music, they don't sound the same. You will hear everyone doing something else and it sounds sweet in its own special way. So again, cutting cannot and should not be taught. What I would be doing in this rhythm with the basic cuts is trying to orient the beginner on where to come in with a cut on the pulse of the rhythm, where and how to come in. And also, if someone starts to drift off of a cut, off of the pulse of the rhythm while cutting, having a basic cut could be like a headquarters or a home base where you could come back to it, play that, and then after reorienting yourself, you can continue to go forward again. So that's what it is about. Um, without further ado, drum roll. Let's get right into the tutorial. All right, so this is the hand placement chart for the fuller for the Calypso rhythm. We went through this last week. I'll just run through it very quickly again. I'll try to link the, 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 the that video in the description below. So this circle represents the face of a drum, the face of the drum. This line separates the drum into which notes are played with the left hand and which notes are played with the right hand. This line here represents the notes which are bass and this line represents the notes which are variation. So right away we can see that the fuller for calypso rhythm has one bass and three variations. So now I will play what it has here, which is a bass with the right, a variation with the left, a variation with the right three, and then number four is a variation with the right as the final note. So now I'll play. I'll now play it a little faster so that you can hear how it is how it sounds if played to a moderate moderate fast calypso. Right? Okay guys, now that you know the fuller, in theory we'll try to get it practical. And this and I will play the break and this will come here with the fuller. And then I will play the break and we'll come up. have that down. What we'll try to do now is fuse the fuller with the bass of Calypso and see if we can get everything running. So I will play the break, Kenny will come in with the bass. Then I will play the break again, Kenny will not stop. Anderson will come in with the fuller and then we'll hear both, both being played together. So here it goes, I will, I will bring it a little faster.
we'll try to get a visual on the um on the on the basic cuts and we'll see how that goes all right guys before we go any further in explaining the break or teaching the break one must understand this so this is going to take some time i will try not to be repetitive and i will try to say what i have to say for you to get this this diagram here represents the phrase of the music or how the music is supposed to sound if you understand this i can put a piece of drum music on it and you will be able to play that drum music never having heard it before but this must be fully understood so now i'll try to explain it these five lines represent an even space between the bottom here and the top the bottom here represents the pulse of your strong foot if you are right hander your strong hand and foot if you hear someone say your strong hand that's or your strong foot it, it's the one that you use more the one that you use to write if you're a left hander then your strong hand and strong foot would be your left so this here is the pulse of the rhythm where your feet would be tapping as you go so your strong foot other foot strong foot other foot strong foot other foot going down as i said these lines represent even spaces between that tap so it's strong foot other foot but you see there are three three marked out lines that are evenly spaced these dots are the notes later on we will put we will put the different notes with a different um caracatia but for now we will just use these dots to represent what it is so each of these dots is a note right and this is a 4-4 four, four rhythm what we call a 4-4 four, four rhythm so how this sounds is you will see there are five lines and it goes like one two three four one two three four one two three four one and you keep going so that's where you get one two three four one two three four and then you start back again right so that's why it's called a 4-4 four, four. So the notes between the strong tap and the other foot tapping are evenly spaced. So I just said it. So if you were following, you would have said, I just spaced it evenly. So if I have to play what's there, each note is now filled. Each line is now filled with a note. So for me to play what's going on there, it would be... Right? Every note is filled. So it would be like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So you realize between the tap and the tap, it's three evenly spaced notes, and there are also notes on the pulse on the tap. So that's that. What I will do now, I will take away some notes. And then we'll play that. That way you will be able to understand what, what we're doing. Now music, if I keep playing that going right down the road, then that would get monotonous. It would get boring. So music is ready when you take out some of the notes. And that, that's where you, you form this, this thing that can make you move. Because there are missing notes. There are notes, two notes, maybe one missing. So I'm going to take out some now. And we'll see how that goes. So... If I take off this note and this note, right, we'll do that right through. Right, this one and this one. So now what we have on the board here is, so we'll follow the pulse first, tap, 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 tap. And there's one note between each pulse. So we'll be going like tap, 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 right? Tap, tap, tap. Right? We're going again. Tap, tap, tap. Now I'll go to all, right? So what you'll be seeing is tap, 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 tap. I'll play that on the drums for you. Right? So first we had. Then. 
Okay, I'm, I'm going to move on now. So as I say, each note is evenly spaced. You cannot, if you see four notes or three notes, four note, one, two, three, four, you can play and then play. That would be wrong. And you would be playing the music wrong. Each note is evenly spaced. That's important, right? So now I will add some notes and take away some of the rest. And I'll see if anyone could figure it out. So we'll put back one here. We'll put back one here. We'll take off this one. We'll put back one here. And we'll leave that one and we'll take off the rest. So what we have here is four notes. One without a note and then two notes. All right? You remember in the in the previous video, I told you Calypso is not there. One two three four, one two three four, one two three four, one two five six. Sorry, there's a pause between. So look at what we have there. One two three four space. One two three four space. One two three four space. One two three four space five six. So if I play the notes that are on there, you will hear this. So you got that. Now we understand that the, what's 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 on this at the moment is the base for calypso. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? All right, guys. So I have put some notes on the board, and that will be our basic cuts that we are teaching for today. This would be it here. So we have. One here, and then we go straight into this one. I used the first, the first example I had where I had filled all the notes, four, 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 and one. I use that as a cut. That's actually that can be used as a cut in calypso. So you will hear that so that it would be it will be easy for you because you're just filling all the spaces, and. Also, this one that has two notes, then four notes, then has two notes, a space, four notes, a smaller space, then two notes, and then you come to the pulse, and then you come down, and you, you come into this one. So, for me to play what's there, as I said, you need to under, watch the other part of the video and understand what's going on. But I'll just play what's here, so you can either learn it from that, or you can learn it by A, and that would be your basic cuts. Right, so the rhythm is going, the bass is playing, the fuller is playing, the break has already brought in these two. And now the person who break most likely that will be the person who is soloing. It does it's not necessary, but most time. So now he's waiting and he's here and they're going pam pam. So he's following the pulse of the music. Pa ta ta tan ta tan 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 pa ta ta tan ta tan. So he's following that, right? And now he's on his strong foot. Mine would be the right, right? So he's on his strong foot, right? And he's coming in right here as the rhythm comes and ta 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 tan ta. The rhythm comes here. He would be coming in, right? Right here he would be starting ta 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 tan ta tan, right? That's the first two notes here. Right? So, we're going with that again. I play two extra notes here that's not on the board. So, we go with this one here. Pa pam, pa 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 pam, pa pam, pa pam, pa 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 pam, pa pam. And then we come in the pa 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 So, that's the basic cut. So as I said, you can either learn it from here or remember it by here. I'll play it as slow as I could. And that's the basic cut there. Now, what you could do with this, you could elaborate on it a little. So, after you learn it like this, and you could play this as a basic cut, and then you could your next your next step could just be to elaborate on what's already there. So let me try that with you. See, 
vida. Right there. So it's right here I am. Now we're going to come into this after and we'll see what we can elaborate on this. What I did there, I just put a note between each note here, and you see it's already sounding on a higher level. So I'll try this part one more time. And that's it. You're, you're now soloing at a higher level just by elaborating on this. And then when you get in the groove, dance is important in soloing. Dance is important. Looking at the dance steps, I'm soloing your, your feeling of it. So, now without further ado, we'll get myself, Kenny Amoruso and Anderson Bujan, and we'll try to fuse the bass, the fuller, and the solos, these solos for Calypso, and I'll, I'll do the elaboration on it also, and then I'll finish doing, going back to just what you're hearing here a couple of times. Right, so let's get into that. Alright guys, now we'll try to put all that we did together between last video and this one, brick, fuller, bass, Cuts, basic cuts. We try to put them all together here now. So let's go. video that day that is sure sure to raise your vibrations throughout the entire new new year so look out for that keep that in mind as we move on have a great one 